our core. So I'm going to talk to you about the core and what that is. Um, a lot of people think that the core is just your stomach muscles, but it's not. Your abs are a part of your core, but your core also compromises your torso on the sides and your lower back. Really your core is all in here, all this center area that keeps you together. So why is core training important? Well, I just gave you a hint. The core is the center. It is your foundation. It's like the base of your house. Um, you can't build higher floors and stronger floors if you don't have a solid foundation underneath. Everything is just going to crumble. Um, so core training helps you in a lot of ways. You know, it gives you strength from the center. It also helps with your balance. It helps you with your speed and agility. It also helps you with your posture. And it helps you to perform exercises um, with greater amount of strength. So if you have a strong core, let's just say you've got a set of eight pound weights. And you know that eight pound weights are tough for you and you're doing it and you're doing it and you just have a so-so core and you end up doing 10 of these. And the person with the stronger core, even if they're the same amount of arm strength with you as you, they'll probably be able to do a few more because they're going to use that extra energy that they've built up in their center to help them get past their plateau and do the next, the last rep, the harder one, the more challenging exercise. They're going to be able to go the distance better than somebody who's not doing core training. So how do you train your core? Well, um, ab exercises like we did today. Also a lot of uh, like lower back training um, and functional training exercises. Like when we did the squat thrust where we're getting down and standing up again, getting down and standing up. All those getting down and standing up things, you're engaging your midsection and it's sneaky, like you're not really aware of it, but you are. Every time that you throw your legs out and you're on your hands, your whole stomach area and your lower back, your core, is engaging and holding tight so that you can hold into that line. And then when you're hopping back in, you're using those muscles again to get you in and help you stand up. So, um, yeah, so doing a lot of ab exercises, lower back training, um, kickboxing stuff, that also works your core in a unique way. Um, the thing about kickboxing and different kinds of uh, boxing moves that I like is that it focuses on your core a lot. Because every time that you come to do a kick, you're engaging all this area of your abs in there by lifting up your leg and extending it in front of you. I can even feel them all working just as I did that. And that was not not a big deal, but but I can feel it. I can feel exactly what it's working. Um, and also functional training exercises, like I said, getting up and down. Also twisting things. If you're doing exercises, twisting and chopping, um, all that stuff works in this area. It works your core. It works your center. It gives you a strong foundation to um, to to work with when you're doing your exercises. Do you need to take a whole entire day and do just core training? No, you don't. You can incorporate things into your exercise program if you're going to the gym and you're going to go do a, a high-low aerobics class and you can go bounce around and then go and train your core at the end. Do those ab exercises, do some lower back strengthening. And actually, lower back is one of the areas that people neglect to train, and uh, that's a bad idea, because your abs, um, and I told you about muscles before, how there's opposing muscle groups and complementary muscle groups, so opposing muscles are the ones that are uh, anti-action, working against each other, like your biceps and your triceps, they're on different sides, they work different muscles, and um, you know, you can do a lot of those training, you, you can train those extra hard on the same day because they're not working together. So two, your abs and your lower back 
are opposing muscle groups, but they're also complementary muscle groups too. Um, because they're in your center, they get a little bit of both. So when you do start doing your ab exercises, you're going to want to strengthen your lower back also. That's going to make your exercises more effective. You'll actually find that you'll have more stomach strength by strengthening your lower back as well. And too, like if you can't do a full sit-up right now, or we're doing the sit-ups, that might not be, it might not be a weakness in your abs. It could be a weakness in your lower back. So remember, you're all connected in your body. Everything is connected through your core, through your center. And it's important to train everywhere around here in order to have that firm foundation to help you uh, get to the next level of your fitness. If you're having a strong core, you're going to sit up better, have better posture, and like I said, you're going to be able to do things faster and a little bit harder than you were if you were just doing a regular strength training or cardio training program. You have to add that core element in to give you balance, to get you centered, get that chi thing happening. You gotta, gotta find that chi. So um, that's my little core talk for you today.